Hi YouTube, maybe hi YouTube, maybe hi YouTube, maybe hi YouTube. Hey, what's up guys, Rip here. So today we're gonna take some time and talk about the ongoing Taiga situation. I know a lot of people have been waiting for it's a horrible coverage situation. of what's going on. Oh, sorry, but I, I need to, to take move my myself. time to craft this video in a way that's actually gonna be productive or hope to be productive Let's for Taiga's situation for and also for Taiga's reputation that continues to be smeared by false allegations. So it's a really, Tiger really Boy, horrible Femboy, situation. A YouTuber who's been around for many years. In fact, their YouTube channel was approaching 200,000 subscribers. Unfortunately, about a month and a half ago, his channel was removed entirely from YouTube, and the policy that he apparently violated was nudity and sexual nudity. content. Nudity, yep, now, apparently. Now, does make some content that is looter, but it is nothing close to full-on nudity or it just isn't or fact, slash wasn't the type of content he makes is very common in the vtubing scene among channels yep. that don't get yep, their yep, entire yep, channel yep, yep. taken away like this and unfortunately his appeal to this decision would be rejected on july a couple 2nd. of times however the very next day his channel would suddenly return with an official statement from youtube saying their content is free to exist on youtube however Six hours after that, then it was banned the again. channel was removed again. Just yep. six hours later after returning. And besides the cruelty of dangling this channel in front of Taiga and then taking it back, also Taiga had gotten their silver play button for getting 100,000 subscribers during all of this mess. And on top of that, it just shows <laughs> That's the such inconsistency a joke. of YouTube and its policies where that is such a minute, joke. your content is totally fine for the platform and even monetizable. And then six hours later, that same content is so dangerous, it has to be removed entirely. And the reason for him getting fucking banned here was because someone was just constantly fucking... He had a stalker, or has a stalker, who was just constantly reporting his channel. And at the same time, the same guy, from what I understood anyway, went out of his way and said, oh, they removed Tiger, but they don't remove Shai Lily. Like, oh my lord. And to make the situation even worse, shortly after that, Tiger's official Twitter account would be suspended. Now, I wonder if it's still down. On, I'm gonna look it up on the site. Reports, and over the years, Tiger has amassed a lot of harassers, including some stalkers. Very much. Now, yep. why does this all happen? Well, those are intertwined with a series of false allegations that Taiga was facing false allegations that accused him of grooming someone. Now, those have been since debunked and also Taiga exonerated. Yep, that is true. However, during the time of that exoneration... <laughs> Which we saw yesterday. We watched a little bit of Taiga's live stream yesterday where Nakstaku is saying... No, I'm not going to extra pop up this word him because he... He doesn't know that it, all of it isn't true. Also, he's still... His account is still gone. I just checked. His account is still gone. And also, after he was exonerated, a lot of people in the VTubing scene continued to spread these false allegations and to slander Taiga. Now, there's been multiple people in the VTubing scene who are responsible for a lot of the damage done to Taiga's reputation. Yeah. We're first... Being Nux and being Marina. No. Let's look at Marina VT. We have Don't be about blocked. I wonder. I I don't think I'm. I'm too much of a no name. I'm too much of a no name that Marina shouldn't have blocked me. Marina VT underscore. No, I'm not blocked. She doesn't know who Marina I am. Marina before she is constantly in controversy. She's stirring up drama and also is a supporter of the Hogwarts Legacy harassment campaign. Yeah, she supported that. Also, she was the one who was naked on stream and said that people didn't read the... Uh, people didn't read the TOS properly. And she was so cocky about it. And then she got banned. But then she was unbanned. She was also the VTuber who falsely believed a few months ago that she could stream oh, that a is, nude yeah. VTuber that is. model on Twitch where she would eventually be temporarily suspended. But on top of that, she has had it out for Taiga for years. She has yep. been harassing and yep. slandering Taiga for years. And you can see posts, even ones that have recent replies, as recent as 2023, where she has used what is now debunked evidence 
to claim that Taiga is this dangerous person who needs to be blacklisted from the VTubing scene and also that I Yesterday on stream, I showcased tweets where people are still believing to this day that Taiga is a PDF file. To this day, there's people still believing this because of all those false claims. He is some kind of a predator. And you can see other members of the VTubing scene jumping on this Friends of Marina, uh, supporting this false narrative about Taiga. And that checks out because as a former friend here has commented, apparently at the time Marina, for a good period of time, was encouraging her friends to support these slanderous posts about Taiga. And the reason she was doing all this was not for justice. It wasn't for bringing awareness. It was simply made because she had it out for Taiga. And there even after learning that is. he had been exonerated, she kept making posts claiming that he is some predator. And when finally confronted with all this stuff, she's such a scumbag. A, a response from Marina, her attempt at an apology. You know, oh, I haven't seen I this actually. I've not seen this. Watches this. Like, I am sorry. And of course, if we're talking about reputational damage in the VTubing okay. scene involving Taiga, we have to talk about Nux Taku, who about two years ago made this collab video with who else but more. Oh, okay, uh, I, I, I'll let Rep explain this, bro. This, this entire Nux situation makes me so angry. I'll, I'll let Rep do the critical, explaining here. Where you can see it has 350,000 views. It was a VTuber drama tier list type video and of course charlie is not super aware of a lot of the vtuber of course controversy, not, so no nux would have to explain them to him and when taiga came up taiga was described no, by nux no, wait, as me, a me, predator me, i'll, I'll scoot you over here no uh taiga is an indie streamer who i don't know the whole story there it is but here it is taiga was added to be a uh oh, oh i don't know the <laughs> I don't know the whole story. I don't know the whole story, but oh, we, 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 hoo, hoo. oh. a friend told me. Oh, a friend told about, me. We want to talk about out of context, bro. So yeah, there's a lot to unpack there. First of all, him saying that he was not aware of the full situation, but then felt comfortable enough to slander Tyga ridiculous. is ridiculous. But eventually, a lot of people would start harassing Taiga take the tail as down. a result of this clip. And eventually, Taiga would challenge Nuxtaku and basically say, these are false allegations. And eventually... Uh, this, this shit makes me so angry, Chad. This shit makes me so fucking angry. Nux would leave a pinned comment where he addresses several things. First of all, trying to apologize, but also saying that he's aware that Taiga is being investigated by a private investigator who's looking into these claims made against them. This was made about two years ago, this pinned comment, and also he said if these allegations were proven to be untrue, he would likely make a follow-up video either with Charlie or somewhere separate, right? He never does a follow-up video. the impact of this pinned comment. It only has 169 likes all these years later, but the video itself has 350,000. Too little, too late in many people's eyes, but we also have a, a public yeah, accusation yesterday. being followed up with a private apology. He privately apologized to Taiga about this situation, but let's fast forward. Also, he did privately apologize to uh, Taiga, but he then, like, Taiga showed the apology because the apology was half-assed or something, if I remember correctly, and he then... Nux then complained about Tiger leaking the DMs. Nux Nux turned this entire shit around and said Tiger leaked DMs because it is so bad to show an apology. Like he played the victim card here. What a fucking! Imagine trying to turn the shit around. Imagine trying. To turn this entire shit around when you did shit. You. So there was an investigation Let's going continue. on. Let's continue. And there was a private investigator who is specialized in these sorts of accusations who went in independently and looked at everything going on in the situation. This document is still available. You can find it on Twitter if you want. And this investigation, this person who did the, uh, the private investigator was not hired by Tiger, by the way. This person went to investigate Tiger to out Tiger. Or wanted to out 
Tiger as a PDF file, but he saw the private investigator investigator saw. Wait, all of this shit doesn't make any sense. There's nothing here. He Tiger is not a PDF file. So he went to Tiger and said, "Here, look at this. I believe you, and I'm going to show this to the fucking world. So hopefully your name can be cleared." But hey. Hey, but let's ignore this. Want to let's ignore this, right? Up, the private investigator. You know what's also funny? People point out this document and saying that this document is proving that Tiger is a PDF and was grooming people. Also, Tiger was the one being groomed, by the way. Tiger was the one being groomed. Found that this whole situation was based on unfounded claims. Essentially, what happened was there was three individuals who were ex-members of Taiga's community who became disgruntled and also some of them go went on to stalk Taiga and came up with this scheme to slander them through all these false accusations. And also, there was a uh, Google Doc file before this one. There was a Google Doc file before this private investigation was made. Which this document debunks. This document debunks the claims in the Google Doc. And the Google, Google Doc was made by his stalker or something, if I remember correctly. Or an ex-mod that tried to have some sexual um, advances with Tiger, but Tiger shot him down. And then the, that fucking piece of shit got angry and created false allegations. Including allegations of grooming. Now, as it turns out, a lot of the evidence was either completely yeah. faked or uh, cropped out of context. Or in many cases, there was comments being made about fictional characters and they were being framed as comments about real people, and all of this was done to slander Taiga. Yeah, as the this is slandering out, and defamation. He was not guilty of any of these things, and the investigator exonerated Taiga. It's been a long time. That exoneration came out in 2022. We are now more Two than years halfway ago. through 2024, and we haven't heard any official response from Nux. In fact, the only <laughs> mention I... <laughs> he went on to some ordinary gamers podcast, and... I I hope Ref plays the clip of how Nux is talking here. Find like it's Nux so ridiculous. It's such Taiga a joke. Came about six months ago on the Some Ordinary podcast, where he mentions it about twenty minutes into the podcast. By the way, which was not about Taiga. It was just an offhand remark about false allegations. Do things right. Yeah, like, like I, I don't know. Yeah. There it is. Thing, uh, like there was the VTuber that uh, was canceled for allegedly mm -hmm. doing weird um, grooming type shit. And, uh, right. like, I was in a video, and I was talking about it, and I, I also alleged that he did Oh, that. wait, I'm in the way. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry, and so sorry. Close friends of mine told me, and I saw, you know, creepy conversations of him talking to kids, and, or, or talking about kids, and, you know, the yeah. liking little boys, and stuff like that. Who knows if it's a joke, you know? And, like, I, I alleged it also, because a friend told me. Uh, and I, I regret it, because he, he you know... He doesn't even say true. his name. He, he doesn't even say Tiger's name. Response. I don't know, this guy Bungo Tiger, and yeah. I, I apologize there to it him is. privately. No, no, the name was dropped. Like that. Wow. And, like, because a friend told me. I believed him. Muda put out a good for me, tweet that's last the, night. That's the no, hardest part of this whole that. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Literally instantly moving on, like, okay, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, let's, Muda put out a tweet yesterday, like, let's talk about this. Like, literally, this... It's such a joke. Why are you talking about this on some ordinary podcast? Who has 200k subscribers while the original video is on your main channel? The thing that has bothered a lot of people, including Taiga, is that even all this time later, way after the exoneration has been very well known publicly, he still uses terms like allegedly to describe what's going on with Taiga. And also, he relies very much on the fact that he privately oh, no, I'm apologized. In the to Taiga. It's like the get out of jail free card in the situation. <laughs> and just However, isn't, though. hearing Taiga's reaction to this clip, it sounds like it's not enough for them. I don't think they're satisfied with a private apology and one that doesn't even really sound that good to begin with. I know this guy Bungo Taiga and yeah. I, I apologized to him privately that Let me let me be clear. Let me let me check exactly what he said. If I do a sequel with Charlie, I was planning on it. I'll try to clear the record more publicly. I'll also do more research. Again, I don't know right now, however, uh, I'll try to rectify any extra damage I caused and hope you can accept my apology. This was in December 22nd, 2022. 2022! He said he was going to make a sequel video with Moist Critical. He never did. Video never came. 
Now, I want to speak briefly about my own experience dealing with Nux Taku. So about two years ago, I made a video covering some very yeah. hypocritical statements made by him, where he made this response video shortly after. And you can see the thumbnail. I mean, he's just throwing around these slanderous things left and right. And when, you know, confronted on this whole thing, he basically said, because I paraphrased some of the things he was saying in my thumbnail, he had full range to do whatever he wanted in his thumbnail, including saying slanderous things like this, that have been used to harass me. But on top of that, this video was about his hypocrisy. Yikes. So there was many different statements I collected of him saying disparaging things about people who enjoy Lolly content where I countered by saying, you have Lollycon in your thumbnails and you've used it as a part parts of your content. This makes you a hypocrite. In fact, he wouldn't does. really address this in his response video, but <laughs> well, instead he would secretly go behind the scenes and start changing all and of his thumbnails. All the thumbnails. And he changed all the thumbnails. And he changed all the thumbnails afterwards. <laughs> It's what a hypocrite Self was an absolute disaster. I mean, I never made an official response to it because I didn't really feel like I needed to. But I want to bring it up now because I think there's several quotes from Nux that really relates to the Tyga situation. You can see the video itself. It is probably his most disliked video on any of his channels, but it was off to a terrible start when he began by saying he uploaded this on his alt channel, not his main channel, because if he did on his main channel, I likely would have been deplatformed. If I make a video... The audacity of this, man. The audacity of this. Also, I don't know if Ref is gonna say this afterwards, but Nux also is then a little bit later complaining about how he would be shadow bed on YouTube. So much for that. So much for that. Roasting this dude on my main channel, YouTube will literally deplatform him. Like, YouTube actually... Imagine thinking you have this authority and power. The, the Some Ordinary Podcast, YouTube has really been paying attention. I'm sorry, but Some Ordinary Podcast has 200k subs. It's... I'm sorry, but it's not that popular. ...to, like, what we've I been saying. Key. And, um, I'll be honest, if I would make a video on him on the main channel, I do think he'd get taken down for either bullying or the whole, um weird pedo isn't stuff. bullying One what you are other. doing I, I do think so Which you is, are I, literally I bullying that, guy, that you know a video gets made on me i make a video on him back and then youtube takes him down so i didn't want i like humble people and this kind of talk make me ick you are nothing if you don't have real effect about someone this this is it's something so fucking dishonest and disgusting to me i hate it when people think they have the authority and the power to do something Personality said, I like Nux reaction content to movies and shows, but this situation definitely is a new, real low for him. 100%, yeah, it's... I... I didn't know who Nux was, up until I have become a VTuber. Up until I personally have become a VTuber and stepped into this community in the end. I have come across Nux Taku in content now. Before that, I didn't know who this guy was, but... Now, looking at everything in, like, retrospective, basically, like, looking at it, it's bad. It's, it's a really bad look for this guy. I don't even touch that. Yeah, obviously that wasn't a Yo, very cheesy good boy. start and a very egotistical statement, to say the least. Very. But going on from there, disgusting he would not statement. really address any of the points in my video. He largely focused on insulting me and also shadowboxing points that I never raised. And also bringing in random third-party VTubers who had nothing to do with my video. He <laughs> okay. also went out of his way to drag my wife into the situation who had literally nothing Why to do, do with that? the situation. But he Why made a completely Thanks baseless to the accusation King. that she was going around asking various VTubers for dirt on Nux that I could use in my video. And then uh, also... Um, talking about bad faith, this dude went around and his wife, they were asking VTubers that are friends of mine for dirt on me. They were literally asking VTubers proof? for dirt on me. Where's private, the proof? Which is like, proof? wow, this dude literally just wanted to make a video proof? to try and take me down, which is hilarious. There's no proof. Because he should have known from past exploits that I'm not going to. I forgot that the ref was married. Yeah, uh, Strop. Strop something is her name. Get canceled, let alone by the lolly community. <laughs> so, uh, it's, it's pretty scum. It's pretty scum. Now, ironically, Nux is currently dealing 
with his own set of allegations being made against him. So in the wake of the Chris Tyson situation, a lot of people the of projection are going on a witch hunt yeah, involving it does. Chad Man, where they're looking for anyone who's ever had interactions with Chad Man, and they're now accusing them of all kinds of things, including uh, ch being a predator and also being friends with a predator at the very least. And Nux is one of those people who has had some private and public interactions with Chad Man, including interactions like this where he asked Chad Man to collab where people are trying to accuse him of things based on that. And I think a lot of these accusations coming out of the Shadman situation involving people he had brief interactions with are over the top. But Nux claims this... I don't know if um, Ref is gonna uh, bring it up. I was waiting for it, kind of, but since he's been talking for a bit now, I wanted to bring this up myself already before we pass the point where it's important to mention. Is that, from what I know, Nux wanted to make like the kind of collab where he would have made fun of Chad or something in that sort. I'm not entirely sure. But the thing is, Chad didn't even want to collab with him. He didn't want to collab with him. He didn't even want to collab with him. That's funny. <laughs> that is so funny. Like uh, someone like Chad, who is a disgusting scum. Didn't even want to collab with Nux. That says... that says a lot. Uh, collab he was asking for was actually to confront him on his various illegal activity, among okay. other things. I literally I paused it right away. About this I, okay, Nux fair enough. Is going I'm stupid. To stream. He's currently on vacation, and when he comes back, he sounds like he's going to address what's going on here, which seems a very fitting time to address what's going on with Taiga, because he's yeah, you should. false allegations... I wonder if we're almost done with the video. I wonder if Ref is also going to talk about the fact that um, the stuff that we've seen on Tiger Stream yesterday ourselves, where um, <laughs> the stream that Nox has done on the topic was on kick to 300 viewers. Talk about <laughs> not wanting to address it. And why not address those while also addressing the false allegations against Tiger and also try to help signal boost? The situation involving the various platforms he has been banned on but let's not get too lost in the sauce here let's go back to taiga who has been removed from multiple platforms at this point two horrible situation platforms and people are looking horrible. around and trying to figure out who did this and of course we had this mention earlier of various stalkers and some of them have claimed responsibility for this but based on the number of people who have harassed Tiger over the years, it could be the responsibility of these stalkers, it could be the responsibility of the harassers, it could be a mix of those things, but at the end of the day, yeah. the the conclusion is still the same. Tyga has been removed from these Tyga platforms has been and the needs platforms. to be fixed. In fact, the only remaining large platform Tyga has left is their Twitch channel, which is also being threatened by these stalkers who are basically asking for Tyga to pay attention to certain things or pay attention to them, or they are going to Disgusting. mass flag the Twitch Fucking account, which disgusting. is still up as we're talking. But That's I think good. a lot of That's this has good. to do with these stalkers wanting attention. And again, I raise all these things to get YouTube and also Twitter involved, hopefully, Please. to reset the false reports here. And on top of that, I want to give some hope, as hopeless as it might seem. There's other situations going on. As said, like, we saw it earlier when we were uh, sh uh, shortly on Esmond's stream that people have posted for Esmond to watch this. And I hope that people are pushing for Esmond to watch this. I really, really, really fucking hope. Didn't Nux Dogs be Sojo? No, no, he didn't. Not at all. No. Uh, you're a little bit um, confused about that situation. No, 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 no. That didn't happen. And with false reporting that have been resolved. So I talked about this on a different video recently where a Shy Lily clip channel named Pierre was banned for impersonation. Pierre is thankfully course, back. Shy Lily came forward to say Pierre's account they is had back. full permission to use her clips for it their content. It took a while, but it's and back. they would have to come back multiple times. This happened over the course of three weeks before there was a resolution where Shy Lily was persistently asking YouTube to fix the situation where finally, only a couple days ago, the channel was reinstated and that was solved. Now, I know Tyga's situation is very upsetting, and they've been sharing various is, messages. It People is, screenshot of their Discord, among other things. And obviously, Tyga's not in a good place. And that's one of the reasons why I want to make this video, to give some moral support if I can't fix anything else. I mean, at the end of the day, it is hard to get responses out of YouTube 
and Twitter. And if anyone in the audience has some sort of a connection, I would definitely encourage you to help Please. out Taiga in the situation Please and bring do. awareness. But right now, that's really the best we can do is not only establish what's going on with Taiga, but also address some of the continued misinformation surrounding Taiga and the false allegations that people are still sharing and relying on. And people in this situation too, a lot of the harassers, they're celebrating these platforms being taken away and they're continuing to share the false allegations against Taiga. And it's unfortunate. So I would like to set the record straight on everything and let you guys know what's going on with the situation and the kind of misinformation that has surrounded it. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, feel free to share your thoughts about today's topics in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, so I want to add uh, something to this. I want to show something to this um, to give some more insights into this. This was an okay video from Ref. He did state true facts. There was some information left out, but nothing that paints anyone in a bad life, uh, uh, like bad light. Um, let me let me move over to the site here. I want to try finding the tweet, which is I feel like it's very important to add this in. Uh, so give me a moment. Give me just a, a moment. I am on the account of where I've seen it yesterday. At least I'm pretty sure I am. Uh, 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 oh man, this person's posting a lot. It was about Tiger's Discord. Sorry, still scrolling. It was about uh, uh while i'm scrolling um the topic was about that uh a discord mod is handling the situation for tiger there is legal is involved now legal is involved but i'm trying to find the tree to show it to you all so you all know it so you all can see it, and since I'm, I'm, this is going to be on YouTube, and I feel like uh, YouTube needs to know this too. Uh, here, I found it. I found it. Awesome. Copy link. Here we go. Here, I wanted to show this one. By the time Rev published the video, Tiger was still streaming, discussing about Nux Kick stream, so Rev wasn't able to get that information in time. That is fair. That is fair. But also, uh, uh, it's about this tweet. This tweet is two days old. Old. This tweet is from August the 9th. Um, this is the tweet I'm talking about. Uh, so, J. Dodesu told people on Tiger's Discord server recently that they are dealing with the situation and are working on it. The mods at Tiger server has already issued Vintage Bass Archive a cease and desist on Tiger's behalf. That is a person that is constantly harassing uh, Tiger, by the way. That is his current stalker, in the end. And they had all the relevant information on them. Vintage... So this info has been acquired, and the mods ask everyone to drop the situ uh, to drop the discussion about the stalker's information and asking everyone to support Tiger because the Wheel of Tiger channel um, is just a channel dedicated to everyone who supports Tiger. Uh, Why well, we don't want to give any attention to the stalker? Uh, sorry. I while I'm reading and nothing's going on, I'm very... Um, the, the, uh, I'm just too silent, so I put some background music on, sorry. Uh, asking everyone to support uh, Tiger because the We Love Tiger channel is just a channel dedicated to everyone who supports Tiger. But we don't want to give any attention to the stalker, we need to shed light to Tiger's situation and years of abuse and isolation. So she feels supported comes um, first. Uh, this is this is the statement on Discord itself. Look, everyone, I'm way ahead of you all on dealing with the stalker. I have a background in 
infosec and opposec i don't know even know what those are and know what i'm doing with that information to stay ethical and above board and not violate any laws I have already issued him a cease and desist on Tiger's behalf. I have all relevant information on them. None of you need to be digging for this information. It's already been acquired. I have explicitly done what I can to prevent their information from being leaked, despite their own best efforts. Options are being explored both for civil legal actions and criminal charges, but I can't say much for or reveal any information regarding that without checking with legal counsel. The channel is for showing tiger support and love it does not need to be a place she comes and gets stressed out by seeing nothing but talk of a stalker i am monitoring closely and aware of many of their multiple accounts most of which i've banned please drop all discussions of the stalker here if you see an established content creator posting about the situation and showing support for tiger that's okay to share their account accounts do not need reporting their identity does not need to be discovered the only thing that needs spreading is information on what has been wrongfully done to tiger and that she needs support and people to be vocal to get her accounts and life back while we don't want to give attention to the stalker bringing light to tiger's situation and years of abuse and isolation so she finds f so she feels support and comes first you don't need to respond to this just give it an emote and react and let's all love tiger okay so i felt this i felt this is important to bring up especially um <laughs> after watching the ref video and i just wanted to add this in as well uh, i don't remember if i linked the ref video here it is here it is so yeah i had a stalker once she's my girlfriend now <laughs> not sure if that says something about me or her it certainly says something about the both of you <laughs> um that's that's about it kids are going into esma mode <laughs> I, I just wanted to add this in as this is uh, this this inf this information is very very important that that information to add was very important other way that that shall be it the information on tiger that we've seen yesterday it's fucking heartbreaking it was so heartbreaking to watch his tigers to watch tiger stream yesterday it was so fucking heartbreaking man I hope the tiger does get um all the platforms back like Twitter YouTube it's Something needs to be done, and that's why I hope Asmund is going to react to the uh, ref video too. And uh, that the ref video, uh, that people are gonna push Asmund to watch the ref video. Because we've seen on stream today that he had it in his recommended. Like, people have recommended it to him on his Twitter. And he said he might be looking at it, people, he said people told him to look at it, he doesn't know yet. I really hope he is going to. So, yeah, that will be all.